is a great leader and one of the biggest leaders in the country when it comes to provision of care to the members of the LGBTQ plus community. We take a lot of pride in our work and we've been there for the community for over 20 years at this point. But the most important reason why somebody um, who is considering transition uh, would want to consider fertility preservation is if there is a consideration for surgical treatment or gender affirming surgery. These individuals would not be able to have biological children in the future. And if that treatment is considered, we strongly advise preserving either sperm or preserving oocytes. When we talk about gender-affirming hormonal treatments, we know that specifically for trans women, use of estrogen can interfere with uh, sperm production. When we talk about uh, transition um, for trans men, testosterone, similarly to being on a birth control pill, can suppress the ovarian function. The official recommendations are still to stop that gender-affirming hormonal treatment for purposes of uh, preserving fertility. Center for Transgender Medicine and Surgery, or CTMS, is one of the country's leading um, centers when it comes to transgender medicine. Um, we have been so lucky that the center has been established at Mount Sinai, which we are a part of. And the center has over 200 employees spanning many different clinical and surgical specialties from endocrinology to reproductive endocrinology, urogynecology, surgery, urology, uh, psychology, psychiatry, and so forth. And so what uh, this center really provides is, in, is a paramount at the level of the entire country when it comes to providing care to trans individuals who are interested in gender-affirming treatments. It's very important for RMA to have a very inclusive approach when it comes to the members of the community because, again, we take so much pride in working with the community, in helping members of this community achieve their dreams of having a family. Once or twice a year, we usually have a training for all of our employees, doctors, nursing staff, administrative staff, literally everybody from the person at the front desk to the surgeons. We're usually um, one of the people involved at the Center for Transgender Medicine and Surgery will come and talk to us and educate us on appropriate terms to use, on appropriate pronouns to use, on um, types of sexuality, types of, types of sexual attraction, so that we don't make mistakes that can be very hurtful and painful for some of the members of the community.